Hi, everyone. I hope I do a good job on this one, even for the Father and Lord and, and also the angels and everybody. Oh, my gosh, our ancestors. This is amazing, okay? I just met some folks in Vietnam, explained to them. They did. They've never really looked at petroglyphs, and they didn't know that they're actually made by man. They said they've heard about them and never really paid attention, okay? And I have a story about them. <clears throat> some of my voice is kind of shot. I want to do a really good job here, okay? So here we got some Native American. I'm going to put some shade. They even told me they knew what this was immediately. What you got here is the sun. Now try to shade that, and then you got the moon, okay? They, they even realized this. They said, hey, that's the sun and the moon, okay? Now I'm going to have to hold this like this to put some shadow on that sun, okay? See, there's the sun that the Native Americans, and they put uh, six rays of light. I don't know if that really matters, but so you got this, the sun, and then you got the moon. That's the duality, the moon. There you see the sun and the moon, right? What is amazing is because I told you I'm right above the dog, which is symbolic of God. See, there was where I was sitting, and that is the dog that is pointing to the uh, to over there to the I guess maybe the sunset, possibly the mountain over there. So I'm gonna zoom in here. Just oh, I don't want to fall off. Are you kidding me? Anyway, so uh, thank you, uh, Father, again, the Holy Spirit, and the angels, and everybody for uh, giving me the wisdom, and also brothers and sisters helped. Uh, you know, all our ancestors even and everybody, right? So, because that way we could share this together with this amazing stuff because um, they gave me this discernment. They gave you discernments. They give us all this wisdom, right? Okay, so we got that. And then I showed him. There's this little cute puppy dog. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this little dog. I mean, you kidding me? Just another dog looking behind there. Just a little baby puppy. And the people, it is... People from Vietnam, they said, oh my goodness. They said they're Buddhist. And um, anyway, so then you got this little puppy dog here. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Take a photo of that. Just awesome. Okay, and I got to take a photo of this too. Because I said, because I always got to keep moving because it's getting dark. So I have to kind of do everything at once. So I apologize. Okay. Because I want to make sure that I get this because it helps me review and things like this. Okay, so. We got that. I will look for some more things here. I mean, I've hardly moved from the parking lot. So okay, this is what's really important. Okay, there's the dog. Okay, now this, okay, there's the dog in this canyon area, right? Now this is what's important. I've got to show you this. This is what blows your mind, because she even said her off the bat. Look down this. Look at that. There is the Lord's cross right there. Oh, there's two of them. Holy smokes, I just see two crosses now. What? Is that the second coming of the Christ, our Lord? Oh, my goodness. See, because I see the first one here. I'm going to take a snapshot of the photo of that. And, uh, boy, I could just take photos all day long here. There are two crosses. Okay, now that's, I mean, there are two crosses there. Look at this. One is really clean. She didn't say before I didn't say anything. She goes, oh, she goes, there's the cross. And she actually said she used to see... Um, the Lord and Mother Mary in the clouds when she, since she was a teenager. So she's a cloud reader, spiritual reader. I did not know about looking at the clouds and seeing the things. We have two crosses. Look at this. Two crosses. Boy, and, you know, look at that. Are you kidding me? And one's like cracked. That is by God himself and the Lord. You kidding me? And the other one, is, it's clear as a bell. Two crosses. Second coming of the Lord. I don't know. Or the second death reborn? I don't know. So, anyway, those that know scripture, I try to do my best. Uh, but if you understand the two crosses, um, you know, let us know on that. Um, thank you, because again, it's a team effort. We unite under God. What is this here? Is this something in here? I'm backing up. Um, it looks like another dog, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm trying to get, I'll try to angle that for you. But anyway, um, just amazing whoa are you kidding me i mean what in the this is just amazing i mean seriously wow <laughs> anyway um there's the puppy dog and i take let me get down there where I like oops I'll take some photos same time and uh i hope i can scan this well for you folks and uh i mean i love you guys you guys are the best no i love the lord i mean this i mean tell me I mean, look at this. I, mean, I got to look at this again to see if there's any other uh, Native American stuff. See, there's the the moon. And yeah, let's see, let's get that sun again. That sun. Yeah, what else? There's just so much information. I mean, my gosh. God has been telling us, and the Lord, and everybody says, Jays, wake up, folks. 
I was just telling them again, I could prove to you God's real and, uh, in about five minutes. And there's something else on that writing there. I got to go in there and zoom in. There's something else about a spiral. I don't know Native American stuff. And uh, I'm going to go see what that is, get closer. I can't tell what that is. I need to get it up close. And I don't know if I turn it this way, which way it's supposed to be. So sorry, I'm rotating. I'll take a photo, take a photo of that with the sun on it. I might have to rotate some of the stuff. Let's see. But anyway, you got the dog there, and I'm sitting behind the dog. A little, little seat there. Remember I told you, God will protect you. And, uh, and stuff like that, right? Yeah, let's see what else we got here. I'm gonna keep recording. If you if you don't have time to watch this, I completely understand. I just want to get everything I can, right? Because there's so much information here. And that's the thing is God is really more and more to us every day. Oh my gosh, through Mandela, through through uh, brothers and sisters are working hard and decoding things and giving us. So thank you all that put in your effort, and thank you too for watching this videos and and you know and doing your part. I mean, really. And uh, just thank you all, because uh, it's a team, united under God. We are a team, and that's what they told me a long time ago. The Father Lord said, oh, I'm sorry, I'm doing a YouTube video. Sorry. Amazing stuff for God. It's amazing. So, um, the, um, remember, it's a team effort, and that's why we got to hang together. I hope this, this audio is okay. I'm going to come back down here, and... Uh, See if I see anything else again. We have this serpent over there, the valley. Let me do this trail here. Okay. I'm looking as I'm coming. He's got, I hope I didn't miss anything. Jeez. You just, I mean, gosh, you could just spend hours in here. I ain't told those people from Vietnam. So you could spend hours, hours, hours in here. Uh, oh, you got distracted. Trying to see if there's anything in here. Okay, you got this rock formation. And, uh, all right. Oh, oh, oh gosh, my head's like a hand. Let's see what we got here. I cannot believe I missed this one. I was just sitting here, standing there. I missed this, um, missed this cross even. Yeah, are you kidding me? Boy, here are these steps. Oh, these perfect steps. Look at this. And sometimes it's tricky. <laughs> this rock is turned. Sometimes it's a tricky, tricky, tricky. It's tricky to dance around, I dance around to find the God and Lord. <laughs> it's tricky, tricky, tricky. Darn. So anyway, sorry about that. So there is that symbol. And I'm going to do some uh, contrast because sometimes these older ones, it's it to find Native American stuff. It, uh, you know, you got to come through that way. And let's see here. This is actually a head. I'm going to show you in a minute. I just realized this is a head formation and there's the dog even they recognized they said oh that's a dog it's a large dog okay where's the lord's cross um oh geez i hope i didn't step on it let's see let's see here I'm trying to get where was exactly and why am i why am i having a hard time seeing that from above because saw that it's still left of that clear as a bell oh there was one of them oh there it is right here right here was that cross see that from above that's the left eye right and here's the right eye is a circle okay that was the cross the uh, left eye well i'm confused here because it's kind of tearing it's a tearing left eye and there's the cross and the crock and here's the right eye which is kind of circular kind of like this right i'm sure that's kind of a face here and then there's this other cross that you can see you remember you got to be at a distance sometimes to see things right and this looks like another dog or something. Take a photo of this. Um, something underneath this stone, but it's pointing. That's a pointer. They used to call me a pointer finder uh, when I was in Boulder. Said, but that was actually God pointing me to things. And Lord, I was like, they said, you're a pointer finder. They said, you can, they point you to people or places or things. We got something falling here too that, that looks like, um, a serpent, maybe a head taken off right there. See that? Maybe that's a serpent. I'm going to get my, get my rear out of the light. See, kind of like um, an alligator, maybe. Kind of like an alligator, you know, and stuff like that. See? Okay. 
I'm gonna scan it real slow because maybe brothers and sisters you could see something in here that I miss um, got to be slower because there's so much let's see is that a formation take a photo of that I'm not sure it's definitely got a rock here that has landed into like a kind of, kind of fish sometimes rock placement is actually important folks God talks in many ways I mean you got to really pay attention and uh, sometimes just to use it several times <laughs> you know and sometimes it's made easy on me he said you know Kirk you're not really you're not getting it and the Lord is too the Lord's gone hey Kirk you're not getting this you know <laughs> I said pay attention you know when I was in New York City I, I don't have time to describe it when I was in New York City uh, they made it uh, really easy on me because I was I was had to do a mission there and trying to find things, find places and people. And they made it really easy on me because I was really, they wanted to make sure because I was tired. And they said, you know, we can't have him work too hard because he's tired. And, um, you know, he's, you know, and so I thank him for making it a little easier on me. Okay. Because it was rough. So looking behind here and again, there's that for the, from the rock. And uh, anyway, so we got the Lord. I'm going to come back here and get another angle at we had two crosses, okay? And whether, yeah, tell me, there's nothing by coincidence. You don't see things by coincidence. Uh, everything has a meaning. It does. And the Father and the Lord and the angels and everybody are trying to tell you something. And sometimes you got to think, think it through. Or like you other brothers and sisters who give me ideas. Okay, so there is where that cross is at. Um, let's see, wait, am I, okay. There is... Okay, there is the, the um, now I may be struggling this one, the left and right eye thing. I really may be making that too much out of that. I don't know, okay? Um, I don't know. Because that, let's see, I'm going to come down a little bit. Sorry, it's too high. Right in here. Right in there. Uh, let's see, I'm going to back up because I can't. I have to turn it just a little bit. I'm sorry because I got to see what's going on here. Yeah, let's see, so we got that just right there. See the whole thing in there? I don't know. See, so you got the left and the right, like the right of the cross kind of leading out. So I don't know if I'm just making stuff up on this one. But not the cross, so that's definitely, that is a true thing because she didn't point that out. And she doesn't, doesn't uh, not into this reading stuff every day. So pointing to the cross. Um, the other cross, I'm going to get moving here. I don't know. I'm trying to scan real slowly. All right. And sometimes I'm like, God, they've been trying to tell me something for a long time. So I got that pointer here that points up to the cross. Um, points across. And then I got this pointers. And uh, boy, I missed anything. Then you have the other cross. Cross is pointing. Okay. Um, Let's see, maybe some of you brothers and sisters can help me on that. See, that's why also we have to kind of search these other brothers and sisters because they don't want to just reveal, they want us to work together. You know what I mean? You know, we got to work together. And uh, that's why there's so much information that they've been doing, you know, slowly and making sure we find each other and work together. And, and uh, you know what I mean? So there's that again. And I'll take another photo. And... Um, Trying to see. I don't know if there's much more here. There is one more thing I want to show you when I walk out of here. So, so bear with me for a minute. I love the term bear. Bear with me. Deal with the beast, the bear. Bear with me. <laughs> you get it? Remember phonetics and, um, the, you know, Phoenicians? Yeah, they helped with the alphabet. Yeah, they put a lot of uh, clues in the English language. <coughs> and that's what's important, folks, is that... Let's keep on. I know you are. That's why... We're the ones that tell you at this rock. This is very interesting. Keep, um, we keep on searching and keep on finding the truth. Oh my gosh, I think I broke it. Oh my. Sorry, Father. I hope. I don't take a photo of that. I'm not sure if it means something. It kind of has unusual structure. So that's what I look for when I'm trying to find, especially things that are out of place that don't look right. Guess what else kind of looks out of place in our society? Don't look right, they don't talk right, they don't act right. You know, some of the prophets, uh, they said we're kind of a little different. Especially, uh, 
you know, one that walked naked through Jerusalem. Uh, what was, who was it for five years? Uh, I told the father, um, don't want to be walking through Denver Lake, so we look out of place. They can't hear us. Um, we look different, but God did that for a reason because they wanted to pay attention to the difference. Because if you're the same, you're in the same system, the B system, and you're not awake. So we talk different, we act different. I've had comments even on my YouTube, man, you're insane. I had the other day, I walked into uh, to a place, and this guy goes, man, you're crazy. And I wasn't even talking scripture. I was just kind of being a little, just having fun and smiling. That's the thing in this society, if you're fun and smiling, they may go, is this guy insane? See? So, but that's why we got to be the light of the world and be the truth. Because that's why God had us, you know, he, he, he guided us so, to, so we could be his, his messengers, right? Because, I mean, I have changed so much. I don't even recognize myself. I mean, I would never used to talk this much. I um, never had this kind of confidence. Um, and, uh, you know, and I've gained that through their support, you know, and they're making me a better person. And that's why, so the world's going to think we're nuts. I mean, my mother thinks I'm crazy, you know. She thinks I've lost my mind. She used to say this, and my brother said, oh, you should be on medication, and he claims he's a Christian. <laughs> he said, Kirk, I think you need to be on some medication. <laughs> and, and sometimes I talk fast because I'm moving all the time, and uh, they'll say, you know, why do you talk so fast? Because i got so much going on, you know what I mean? I've gone on a mission, and I'm going to move fast, okay? Uh, there's a face in here. In this uh, rock here, see this? There's a face in there, nice orangish forming lichens. I, the reason why, what I was trying to show you, there was a moon that a Native American had carved in here, another moon. And I want to make sure it was of significant importance to something, which I don't know, okay? It may be just a red herring, maybe useless. I think we got another dog formation here. I'm not sure. Um, but, uh, and that's the thing is I'm always moving. So I apologize if I talk fast or this and that. Some people, when I've been talking, I've learned to slow down. I've slowed down a lot more. But uh, what's it say? It says, what does it say? Cheech? 89 to 96. Or Cheech? Cheech? I don't know what that is. 89, Cheech, Cheech, huh, I'm not sure what that is, um, I don't know if the, this is, uh, actually, uh, I'm not looking at this Cheech, oh, I thought, or ch um, Trailhead, but I don't know, I believe that's, anyway, um, that's a man's stuff, but sometimes God talks to a man, but not necessarily. Yeah, the ones that come and carve up on uh, Native Americans. So, anyway, I got to keep moving. Yeah, I got to keep moving. So, um, well, I'm not going to worry about that. And uh, that other um, moon symbol, I, th I thought I could find it, but I've lost it, and I can't keep searching for it. So I'll just move on. We got the gist of the uh, of what we need and information. I'll leave it for uh, another brother and sister maybe to come along and and uh, take a look at it for us. That looks like another dog here. I'm not kidding, but I'm not sure. Yeah, it is. So, um, anyway, I'm not sure what that is. There's just so much here. So, okay. All right. Um, I don't want to make this too long because you probably go, oh, geez, Kirk. All right. So, anyway, I love you all. And uh, just, uh, you know, that was one of the things is that, uh, was it Solomon? I think it was Solomon that said, no, Constant, Constantine. Said, uh, you know what, would we want to hear uh, prayers? Give them the wisdom. But he kind of went kind of south on us too, unfortunately. But he says, so that's what I told the Father. Now, give me the wisdom and give me the, uh, and and make me have the, the stuff that I need to be successful on this final mission. You know, that's what I told him. I said, make sure that you give me the wisdom, the courage, and the knowledge um, no, sorry, wisdom, the courage, and whatever I need to do to make sure that I'm successful on this mission for the glory of God. Okay? All right. Love you all.